welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, you know, hit that subscribe button down there because I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon. I know everybody loves giveaways, so stay tuned for that. So, Kim Kardashian West is coming out with a new beauty line. It's called KKW Beauty, and I'm so stoked for it. And I think the first product is going to be a cream contour or a powder contour, I'm not sure. But it's a contour product, which is a genius because Kim Kardashian is totally known for her contour, and I'm so excited to snatch that product up. And for her campaign photo, she came out with this really pretty dewy, glowy, warm, bronzy makeup look, which and it was so gorgeous that I knew I wanted to recreate it for you guys. So. I came up with this look myself, so let's get started. Alrighty, so the first step to getting a dewy complexion is you wanna use a dewy primer or cream to hydrate your skin. So I'm picking up my MAC Strobe Cream and I'm gonna put this at the high points of my face to give me a really luminous glow. So I'm applying this just with my fingers and just working it into the high points of my face. Next thing I'm gonna do to hydrate my face, I'm gonna be using my Pure Hydrogel Primer and I'm gonna put that in my T-zone area just to ensure that my makeup is gonna stay on all day long. I'm pretty sure this is an eye primer, but I like to use it in my T-zone area because sometimes throughout the day my nose can get like a little bit cakey looking and I find when I use this primer it stays put all day, so I like doing this extra step. For foundation, since I am wearing this all night long, I'm gonna use my Pure Bear It All foundation because I feel like this is the most full coverage and lasts the longest out of all my foundations. Or you could use the Maybelline Fit Me, that works really well as well. <laughs> and I did tan my body and not my face, so I'm using a little bit darker of a foundation today. Next, I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just picked up this concealer. I used to use it then I stopped using it for a while and I'm gonna try using it again because I keep hearing really good things about this concealer. And since we just used cream products, you always wanna remember to set it with powder. So I'm using my RCMA translucent setting powder and I'm sticking this right underneath my eyes. I'm picking up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and I'm just going to do a really quick light contour just to make sure that it stays on all night long because I'm going out after this. So I like to do circular motions right in my cheek zone so if you have a hard time finding where to put it, you do a kissy face. But I like to just rub upwards where that little line is. And then I go underneath my jaw to get rid of that double chin. And then I go a little bit on my forehead just because naturally that's where the sun is going to hit her face. And it helps slim down your head or your forehead. Next, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette because since we use cream products, you always have to set it with powder. So I'm using this middle shade and I'm just going to lightly do a quick bronze of my face. blush I'm using my Beach Professional Blush Palette and this is like my absolute go-to palette just because there's such a variety of different shades so I'm gonna be mixing this like coral color and then this like bronzy color just to put on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of help a bronze and warm up my face So if it gets a little too out of control like right here you can just go over that with your beauty blender to help kind of work it in So next for brows, Kim Kardashian's brows are pretty extended to the temple. They're pretty long and luscious and gorgeous. So I'm going to extend my brows a fair bit. I'm going to be using two different products. My Pure Cosmetics Wake Up Brow Pencil. And then I'm also going to use my ColourPop Brow Pod in the shade Dope Taupe. I like to start at the arch just because that helps define it the most. All right, so moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna show you guys a good old trick that I learned from Jaclyn Hill. 
Sometimes when you wing out your eyeshadow towards the temple, it looks so gorgeous, but sometimes it's not as clean as you guys would have hoped and you wish you can just like wipe it away. But since we've already done our face makeup, I'm gonna pick up some translucent powder. I'm gonna stick it there so that can be like a little guy. And then when we do our eyeshadow and if there's any fallout there, once we wipe it away, it'll be a nice clean line. So on Kim's eyes, they're pretty like warm, brown, mauve colors. So to start off, I'm going to be picking up Chickadee, which is this really pretty yellow color. And although this looks like an odd color to use, this is really going to help warm up the crease and bring this look to life. Next, I'm going to pick up a Morocco by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to start buffing this in the crease and on my lid as well. Next I'm picking up Red Arch from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm just going to start smoking this out towards my temples. Next I'm picking up my Gold Digger Palette by Pure Cosmetics and I'm picking up Glow Getter and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. So in her inner tear duct, it looks like she has a little bit of like a warm purpley cranberry color. So I'm using my pure eye pencil and this is in the shade rain. And then I'm going to add a touch of down to earth right in the waterline as well, which is more of a brownie color. So I went ahead and put on my Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee and I was examining Kim's picture and I noticed that there's a little bit of sparkle on the middle of her eye so it's kind of hard to see because I only can see one picture but I'm going to go into my MAC pigment and this is in the shade Rose. So now that we have finished our eyes I'm going to move on to a super glowy dewy face so I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Strobing Liquid, you can pick this up right at your local shoppers and it is like $15 so it is super affordable. You can use this for underneath your foundation as well. You could also mix this in with your foundation to give it that really dewy glowy vibe. So underneath your foundation, mix in with your foundation or right on top of your foundation as a spot highlight. I like to use this one as a spot highlight because I like to direct where I'm putting it on my face since it's so intense. I want that intensity just in certain areas. So I'm going to put this on my palette you can put it on the back of your hand or whatever you guys need. And I like to use my Beauty Blender to apply this because I feel like it gives it the most flawless look possible. If you don't have a Beauty Blender, you can apply it with your fingers and the warmth of your fingers is really going to help it work into your skin. So I'm taking this on my spatula and I'm grabbing a little bit and then kind of pouncing it off. It's not going to be super intense on our face. And then I'm just going to go to the high points of my face and start pouncing that in and since we are using a beauty blender it's going to give like such a flawless finish and then i'm going to flip it around to the clean side and just work that in all right so you can stop there or you can go a step further and add a little bit of powder highlight on top so I'm going back into that Pure Gold Digger palette. So this is already pretty intense, but I'm just showing you all the steps I would take to get like the most glow possible. So I'm just lightly grabbing a little bit of that with my fan brush and just dusting that right on top. Boom. You're gonna look like so glowy and dewy. And you can even bring that right on top of your eye bone. That looks so pretty in the sun. Right, we're in the home stretch. Last but not least, we're gonna do our lips. And you know Kim, she is all about the nude lips. In the picture, I noticed it was a little bit like peachy. So I'm going to look for a color that is similar. You guys guessed it. I'm starting off with my ColourPop lip liner in the shade BFF. I really need to get a new one. This one is like disintegrating. The sun decorating by the sentence. Okay. Well, I'm grabbing my little custom lip palette 
And I'm gonna mix a few colors to get like the perfect tone. So let's see. And last but not least, to make sure this stays all night long, I'm spraying my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus all over my face. And this is kind of like a hairspray for your face, so it's gonna just make sure everything stays put. So here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want to see more like recreation videos, let me know down below because I'm totally down to film more videos like that. And remember to subscribe. I'm doing another giveaway shortly. I'm planning it currently. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!